Joe is so deserving of this award because he is the epitome of servant community leader. When I first got to know Joe, I was so impressed. He is one of those kids who sits in the back of the law room who actually knows all the answers, but doesn't volunteer them all the time. So getting to know him was in every conversation, coming to appreciate more deeply the breadth and width of his community commitment, his knowledge, his compassion, of his willingness to do more for others. Oh my gosh, I could go on and on, uh, so I'll try to keep it short, but um, he's an amazing individual. Uh, I met him 27 years ago, and he mentored me. Um, I didn't ask him, but he knew I was confused coming out of law school, and he took it upon himself to help me out. I always thought that he wanted to mentor me because we both have Cuban heritage in us. So I thought I was pretty special. But then as the years go by, I find that um, I'm not the special guy. He's a very special man. In his law practice alone, and this award is about so much more, but in his law practice alone, he has been the lawyer who is available to the community for all of their needs. Joe contributes to diversity and inclusion by making sure all population groups in Franklin County and the city of Columbus get the same treatment and they get the same protection in the legal system. So regardless of what group or what economic status or any other status that people have, Joe fights for these people to get equal representation within the justice system. I'm forever indebted to him because he has shaped my career. He has taught me a lot that it's not really about money, it's about public service. I truly feel I'm so happy for him because he has found his calling and his calling is to serve others regardless of race, gender, ethnicity, sexual orientation. None of that matters with Joe and that's why I love the man. Joe has volunteered and worked with multiple organizations over decades to ensure that the Hispanic and Latino community in Franklin County is heard and seen and valued and respected. In my opinion, leaders are great listeners. He's an amazing listener. He's the type of guy, you know, some attorneys, uh, I would probably include myself coming from New York City, being a little loud and boisterous. He's the total opposite. He's not the kind of guy who will light up the room when he walks in. He's the kind of guy who keeps that light steady. He's the first guy in, the last guy out. He listens. He's meticulous with details. And ultimately, his clients benefit from that. You never question his honesty. You never question his integrity, and you never question his dedication. He's all of those things. He's also very humble about everything he does. When Joe uh, served on the executive committee of the foundation's board of directors, he and I met and he said, Angie, nobody needs to recognize me. I just need to get this work done. That's who he is. He wants to get the work done. He's amazing. He's very giving of his time. Anybody can give money. Uh, time is very difficult. Time is limited for all of us. I've had discussions with Joe about the survival parts of his fees, and he'll say, Jay, and this is a quote from him, Jay, I have clients that don't even have shoes that fit, that fit them. Um, I think that's pretty special. That pretty much describes Joe. <laughs>